Hello everyone and welcome to Tangent, Trinity's Ideas Workspace. Trinity is the number one university in Europe for student entrepreneurship. We're so excited to partner with Red Bull today on the Red Bull Basement event. It is the first one for 2020 and an opportunity for all Irish students to pitch a tech-centric idea that could have a positive impact on our campuses nationally. Today, we will show you how to create a winning idea and convert this idea to a winning video pitch. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to Carl Thomas. I sit on a lot of panels and I judge a lot of events like this. What I tend to find is that people come up with incredibly, incredibly interesting ideas, but fail to link those ideas to the user, fail to really outline the value and benefits for the users in those spaces. So innovation is fantastic, but if it's innovation purely for the innovator as an opposed to for the end user, well then there's a bit of a disconnect and that's something that I'm going to really push um, today. Bear in mind <clears throat> from today, you're not just in competition with other Irish entrants, you're in competition with global entrants. Um, so we want to be establishing this with best foot forward from the off. First thing we want to talk about is problem space. Problem well defined is a problem half solved. If you guys have come in with a solution rather than a problem, this is a great opportunity to sort of reverse engineer that and get the language around what the problem your end user is experiencing is to be able to reference what people are saying because you want to establish what the problem is. Um, you want to talk about what people are doing in response to that problem. Where are the frustrations? How are they responding to it? How do they interact with it? Innovators really need to be good at asking questions. Innovators are curious. It's not just about having great solution and technical know-how. It's about making that technical know-how work in a really, really targeted way. So we need to always looking for ways to improve our product. Competitive advantage. You're in amongst some strong innovators globally. You're in amongst some strong innovators today, and you'll be in amongst some strong innovators nationally as well. So whatever it takes to get your idea just a little bit further ahead. And to be perfectly honest, for me, sitting on judging panels, it's how people tie that idea back into the end user and really absolutely aggressively define with great clarity the problem statement, the problem space, what our users are experiencing. People love the first idea they come up with. They get married to the first idea they come up with. They resist all kinds of valuable criticism of the first idea that they come up with because it's some kind of externalization of themselves. They poured all of who they are into it. And any valuable criticism that would, it, would improve it is re rejected out of hand. And that's something that we need to be really well um, aware of. We're always looking for create a fluency and we, we embrace the bad idea because what the bad idea allows us to do is broaden the parameters of what's acceptable but in terms of a solution. We don't want to be thinking <clears throat> only what's immediately available to us because that's evidence of quick thinking. We want to be saying these things. We want to be encouraging the people around us to think beyond their immediate frame of reference. So creative fluency is absolutely key. Even if you think you have an idea today, there are ways to make additions to that. And those additions will come from that creative fluent element. Red Bull Basement wants to empower you to break through the age old concept of it's that way because it's always been that way and to create tech solutions that will have a positive impact on your campus and within the wider student community. Ireland's country finalist of the event will be selected to enter a development phase where they will receive global mentoring and funding from Red Bull and global partners NTT and Onor. I'd like to take this opportunity to now introduce you to Robert Fitzhugh. You can come up with an exceptional idea and it can be incredibly innovative, but if you can't pitch or sell that idea to somebody, um, it's a lot like when I say to students, you could have the best film in the world, but if you don't tell anyone about it, the only one who's going to enjoy it is your mom. A lot of times people aren't just, regardless about uh, this project or, or this project alone a lot of times people want to invest in the person as well as the idea so it's not just about how good your idea is it's also the type of person they're investing it in so putting yourself front and center on camera in your pitch video will help say not only is this an incredible idea and i understand it but i understand that this person is passionate and wants to see it through to the end so that's something that i think we'll definitely kind of have to touch on and it is an important point i think to be in it when you're thinking about the problems that this your, your your idea is going to answer or the solutions that it, you have think about the ideas that pop into your head and um, that can help reinforce that a lot of them aren't that complicated a lot of them are very very straightforward and um, but they manage to be quite engaging by using very very simple so a lot of them are, are you know just shot 
there's nothing fancy there's shot in a room two people talking to a camera um, and it's the combination of their enthusiasm and the idea that really really sells it's the human elements and the the the, the, the authentic engaging storyteller elements of a really good pitch that helps to kind of sell it a little bit more and helps to get people across and um, so just have a think about your idea from the perspective of a story you know not necessarily you know 75 percent, 65 percent. here is a story and here is my story of my idea but I, I would absolutely recommend sitting down and scripting out the script doesn't have to be complicated it doesn't have to be overtly you know follow a format it just needs to be a structure that you can follow from start to end for a pitch video, a lot like when you're doing, when people are doing Kickstarters, the reason that they're looking directly at the camera is because they're directly talking to the audience. They're directly trying to engage in something. They're not talking to someone about something they know about. They're talking to you directly and they're saying, please believe in me. You might hear pitch video and you might think to yourself, I need to do something that's like incredibly cool. That's going to get notification and stuff like that. And if people are uncomfortable with technology, you're, and, and, and you're on a time limit, I think the focus should be on your idea and I think not bringing complicated technology into it, especially towards the end, to try and learn. Like, I need a camera because I need to shoot this pitch video because it's going to look great. The type of equipment you have doesn't really dictate the type of a con uh, content you do. So for the most part, if your video is polished and you're engaging enough, people on the other end aren't going to know how it was shot. Remember, and this is my, my parting note as I finish just on time, uh, that belief in your idea is half the battle. So if you guys absolutely 100% believe that your idea is key, then you've already done half the work. You just have to press record and tell everyone else how great it is. Thanks again to Dr. Carl Thomas, to Rob Fitzhugh, Red Bull, and of course, your participants. You can recap everything you've learned today on Tangent TV, and we encourage you to continue to follow the conversation at hashtag Red Bull Basement. Get working on those ideas. Make sure you submit by the 25th of October, and we're so excited to hear all of your pitches. Good luck, everyone. <laughs>